<laughs> All right, the first story of the day, I wanna talk about the, the Rock situation. I was super, super excited to talk about it, and now I'm kinda of bummed out, because The Rock actually said that it's a fake and false story. So let me take you from the beginning of today, and hopefully this is also an example of one, how, uh, how quickly fake news can spread through the mainstream media. Uh, and I, I even posted it twice. I deleted it and I'm doing this. Um, but they'll probably do nothing about it or tell nobody. But uh, the Daily Star, which is actually a tabloid paper in the UK. Unfortunately, to be honest, all papers are now tabloid papers. CNN's a tabloid paper. You know, all the mainstream media, they're basically just tabloid organizations. No better than the little crummy magazine that you buy at the store, just like me. I have a store, you have a store, we're like the same. No, I'm just kidding, but you know, it, it's like the same type of logic that they use, but the Daily Star ran a, a, a article saying that the, the Rock said all of this stuff, so I have the quotes. So many good people fought for our freedom and equality, but this generation are just looking for a reason to be offended. I don't have to agree with what somebody thinks, who they voted for, what they voted for, what they think, but I will back their right to say it or believe it. That's democracy. So nothing he said was terrible. It was literally like basic decency, but uh, I know that's that's taboo now. Um, and then he said, Generation Snowflake or whatever you want to call me or you want to call it, to me actually are putting us backwards. So I got super excited. I was like, whoa a celebrity telling the truth. He said, so many good people fought for our freedom and equality. True, but this generation is just looking for a reason to be offended. True, I don't have to agree with what somebody thinks. True, who they voted for. True, what they voted for. True, what they think. True, but I will back their right to say it or believe it. True, that's democracy. True, generation snowflake or whatever you wanna call it are actually putting us backwards. True. Ding, 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 true, 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 true. The whole statement was literally probably the truest thing that The Rock ever said. Although he says some nice motivational stuff. He's like, you can do it. You, you know, if you work really hard, you could be six foot seven, 500 pounds of pure muscle like me. You just gotta eat 15 uh, pizzas. And then all the kids eat all the pizzas and they're like, The Rock, I'm 700 pounds and I'm not a, you know, I'm not like a Hawaiian juggernaut. What happened? He's like, oh, Maybe you can't be like me, sorry, but you could do something. You can go be like a stockbroker, maybe like an extra in a movie, but no, I'm just kidding. But <laughs> maybe there's some truth there. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, um, it's a really true thing. So it's like, it was super exciting that uh, he said that or allegedly has said that. So who covered, who covered this story? It started with the Daily Star, which is a UK tabloid paper, but it was also redistributed in The Hill, TMZ, Business Insider, The Independent, Yahoo, AOL, Fox, Local NBC, Complex, NME, The AV Club, Daily Mail, Mashable, Unilad, InStyle, and many, many more. So everybody everybody picked up the story um, and a lot of credible news sources, mainstream news sources, pretty much all the culture news sources talked about it because it's a clickable, likable story. Um, before I get into what he said, the reaction was hilarious to me because of course like all the conservatives were super pumped about it. They were like, oh my God, somebody in Hollywood actually told the truth and actually spoke common sense to the kids who were freaking out crying behind their laptops. Uh, but I was scrolling on Twitter through like just to see what everyone was saying and I saw some like liberal blue check mark journalist. He probably had like 4,000 followers, worked for the Huffington Post or something. I'm not trying to be mean. It just seems to be like a pattern. They got a blue check mark, but then they got 2,000 followers and they, they blog for like an angry feminist magazine. It's like, they get like one retweet every five days. It's pretty sad that that's their career. But anyway, uh, he was like, I'm starting to think The Rock is not such a good person. <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I was like, what, what part of what he said made you thought he wasn't a good person? To me, regardless of what The Rock did or didn't say, it doesn't really matter to me. I care about the truth. Like, isn't that kind of scary that someone says, I don't care, I don't have to agree with what somebody thinks, who they voted for, what they voted for, what they think, but I will back their right to say it or believe it. That's democracy. Uh, so many good people fought for the freedom and equality of this generation. I'm sorry, fought for freedom and equality, but this generation are just looking for something to be offended. Like that's not even that crazy. Like if you wanna watch my channel or have an hour conversation, I'll say some really crazy stuff. Most of it's gonna be true. Some of it's gonna be funny, but it's gonna be 20 times crazier than this. So like if you can't even handle 
what The Rock said and you read that, it's literally just like, I don't care what you think. I just hope you're not a sheep, you know that. And it's like, I'm starting to think The Rock's really not a good guy. I'm start, I'm start, he's scaring me with all, with all this basic stuff. Like I say this about Trump too. It's like, if you think Trump is bad, just wait five or 10 years, keep screwing up and you're gonna find a Bolsonaro or somebody that's like super far right. It's gonna happen and then everyone's gonna be like, oh, how did this happen? It's like, well, you were sad and scared by somebody who told you like a basic truth. They were like, clean your room and take care of yourself. And they're like, I'm starting to think The Rock is a right wing supremacist. It's like, dude, if this is, if this is hard for you to, to comprehend, it's gonna be a cold, cold world ahead of you. It's gonna get really ugly. Grip onto your teddy bear or your little panda like I have. That's what I do when I'm scared. I'm like, the leftists are scaring me. I don't do that, but it's not that serious what he said. It's not that crazy. Um, anyway, so all this stuff happened. All the media reported it. And then The Rock comes out in an Instagram video, a very cringy but kind of kind of warm and cuddly, uh, not to be weird, but I, I don't know. I just wanted to make a joke. Anyway, he comes out with an Instagram video. He's like, hey, guys. All of a sudden, he's like super passive. Like the dude could literally snap your neck in a second. Like he could come up to you and break your entire spine in like three seconds. And he's like, hey guys, uh, just wanted to let you know, uh, it's not true. It's not true what they said in the news. It's fake news. No, he didn't say fake news, but he's like, it's, I never said that. If I had a problem with the millennials, I'd, uh, I'd just say it right to your face. I'd tell you and... I'd be nice and we'd talk about equality, whatever. Like, and I was like, ugh. Like this guy could literally fight a polar bear and, and a lion at the same time. And he's acting like you could blow him up, blow over. But overall, uh, I'll take away a few things from this story and I'm gonna move on. First thing I'm gonna take away from this story is how quickly fake news really does spread. And uh, I was a victim of it today. Usually I'm better at that, but in certain situations like this, when I see a story about The Rock, it's not a political story that I have insight on where I know that they're lying. Luckily, the only reason I really do know now and I spread it is because I spend who God knows how many hours a week in this stuff. It's like my full-time job now. So I'm able to catch it because people allow me to do that. Um, but for a story about The Rock, I don't have any insight on, on this. So I, I don't know that it's true, but like I said, it's The Hill, TMZ, uh, Business Insider, The Independent, Yahoo, AOL, Fox, NBC, Complex, NME, AV Club, Daily Mail, Mashable, Unilad, InStyle, everybody and, and their mama reported on it. Uh, just shows you how quickly fake news can spread. And one of the things I usually look for, I guess I slipped up today, is I, I usually look for audio or video footage because if there's no video or audio footage and it's an anonymous quote they do that in politics and they don't even say the rock they'll just be like someone said this and you're like so I so I could make a story and say someone said this they the, the one guy he won CNN's journalist of the year he came out recently and said I'm a bad person I'm sick I need help literally and he found out he was like fabricating stories about middle America and he was making up entire interviews that didn't exist to make Trump supporters look bad. This really happened. Uh, of course it blew over in the media, but this is how quickly fake news can spread. And even if it's about someone, Trump or The Rock or, or any liberal, if there's not video or audio proof, uh, you know, it's hard to really believe anything nowadays. And this is just another reason. Also, um, Every media organization, unfortunately, including myself, as far as like certain things I, I know more than others, some things I just want to talk about, like The Rock or, you know, I'm going to talk about R. Kelly, but I'm not like an investigator. I don't know that much about The Rock or R. Kelly, so I slip up on those stories. But most of the media, including myself, we just piggyback off of usually the breaking story. I'm a news analyst. I analyze the news. I'm not a news organization, but these news organizations, they're not really like investigative journalists anymore. They're not organizations that seek the truth. One story like the Daily Star or another one, they break a story and then everybody piggybacks off it. That's just what happens. And, uh, you know, it's like gossip brags galore. You know, they say it, they say it, they say it. I weigh in on it. And then, you know, it turns out not to be true in this rock situation. I definitely try to be as uh, accurate as possible and I delete stories when they're not real and I tell people when they are. But 99% of news, they don't do that. They leave it up. They don't even, they put like a little asterisk at the bottom or they never say it. If it has to do with Trump or something that goes along with their political agenda, 
they'll never tell you. And to be honest, a lot of conservatives probably won't make a correction on this rock story too. They'll leave it up because it feels good. Um, but story of how quickly fake news spreads or another possibility is some people think the rock just folded. I mean, pretty much every celebrity is soft as, as a, and I don't want to say the rock soft. He'll probably beat the crap out of me and uh, throw me in a, a gutter. I mean, I, I'm pretty strong, but uh, I mean, the dude is like built like a, uh, a, 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 a gargoyle. Um, you know, it's like people are afraid to say anything nowadays. So maybe he did say that, and uh, maybe now he saw the backlash and he's like, "Whoa, I never said I don't want to lose. I don't want to lose my twenty million dollar movie deal and NBC show. I better, I better get in line with the Democrats before something bad happens." So that's that's a huge, that's a huge possibility. Excuse me. I, um, second story of the day. This 